Now Times now has accessed exclusive visuals of the infiltration by a group of armed terrorists in the Karen sector along the line of control. The infiltration bid foiled and uh, it happened very, very close to the Pakistan army positions. Farid uh, will be joining us with more details on this, but these are exclusive visuals. The first visuals coming to you of the infiltration bid and uh, Times now has accessed these visuals of this infiltration by a group of armed terrorists. Uh, this is in the Karen sector along the LOC and uh, this infiltration bid uh, was foiled. It happened very close to the uh, Pakistan army positions and uh, it was a group of heavily armed terrorists uh, in this uh, Karen sector of the LOC. This has been captured by thermal imagers. Uh, Farid joining us uh, with more details on this. Uh, yes, Farid. With That, that really is uh, the problem for these militants because, uh, uh, as we know, just before winters, uh, the desperation ad is at its peak because once the winter set in, there's heavy snowfall. The routine uh, routes or passes are blocked by uh, the snow and infil infiltration becomes very difficult. So this is the time when... Desperation is it at is, is, is it at the highest, and in fact uh, they'll try to sneak in. That is why the army is at its highest alert all along the line of control because they know that there are hundreds of uh, militants, according to intel inputs, so waiting at various launch pads, and in fact are waiting for the opportune moment to sneak in. And that's why they're on the highest alert. And uh, uh, in fact, this particular area of line of control, that is the Karen sector, has been. Uh, in fact, in the news, as I said, because uh, most of the infiltration bits have happened in this sector, and they, these visuals, uh, exclusive visuals uh, that Times now has accessed, uh, uh, show you that uh, this region has been selected because of its topography. It's a very rugged area, mountainous area. There's deep forests, and uh, it is this that these uh, militants used to sneak in. They come close to the LOC, and in fact, uh, use the thick foliage, use this rugged terrain, hills to their advantage and once they see that the Indian Army has in fact moved uh, away or they find the right opportunity they try to sneak in and this is yet another visual proof mm. of that happening in the Karen sector. These uh, visuals really once again one show infiltration happening and number two nail parks role considering that this infiltration bit happening uh, very close to the park army positions. Back to you. Absolutely. And as you said, Fareed, that these uh, repeated infiltration bids are what are keeping the Indian Army on the highest alert all along the LOC. Uh, we do understand, though, that this particular infiltration bid caught on camera, which we are showing exclusively here on Times Now, this bid was, in fact, foiled by the Indian Army. Could you tell us more about that operation? Well, yes. Uh, uh, as we know, uh, in fact, this uh, area is known for infiltration, so that's why there are special anti-infiltration units. There is 
surveillance. There are all kinds of uh, techniques used by the Indian Army to counter infiltration. And in fact, uh, uh, recently, all through the summer, we have seen a number of militants killed in the Kiran sector. And this was one such uh, incident where thermal images uh, caught these uh, infiltrators and after which an operation was launched uh, to flush them out. Uh, they were killed. But uh, more importantly, this shows that uh, there are, uh, inf there are in fact, launch pads on the other side which are very much active and are on the lookout for the first opportunity for these militants uh, to really sneak in. And as we have been reporting over the uh, past two, three months that there are hundreds of uh, militants who are armed to their teeth and are waiting for the opportunity to sneak in because, uh, as we know, next year, there are, this is 2014, it's the election year, the Lok Sabha elections scheduled, uh, assembly elections scheduled. So the planning is to send in as many people as possible who could really then keep the pot of militancy boiling in Kashmir, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, over in the 2014, keeping in mind the elections, because definitely there is a possibility that they'll try to target uh, elections and try to disrupt them. So that is also one reason why we are seeing that uh, infiltration has increased Desperation has increased, and right now okay. it's the highest alert on the borders, considering that just before winter is finally set in with snow falling, they'll try to come in in huge numbers, as many as possible. Back to you. Now, Farid, you're also telling us that this uh, particular infiltration bid, uh, which has been caught on this uh, thermal imaging here, very, very close to uh, the actual Pakistan army positions. Uh, tell us just how far away from, physically, from the Pakistan army positions uh, is this going on and uh, why that means that this cannot be happening without the active abetment of the Pakistan army. Well, it is pretty clear. I mean, considering the LOC and considering that... Uh, uh, it is littered with Park Army positions post that man, the LOC. It is almost impossible to really think uh, or comprehend that infiltration can go on without them uh, really helping these infiltrators. And in fact, if you remember Shalabata incident where the army was locked in a confrontation with around 30 to 40 infiltrating militants, there also there was clear proof that uh, they were backed, abetted, helped by Park Army regulars. So that really tells you that uh, this all is happening with the help of uh, uh, Pakistan army on the borders and in fact several infiltration bits uh, where the army okay. has said that uh, uh, the Pak army posts uh, did help by giving covering fire to these infiltrators. So all these things lead to the fact that yes, they are being uh, very actively held by the Pak army and in fact in this particular infiltration bit, uh, the Pak army posts were very close in fact, uh, very very close to this uh, incident happening and uh, that is why once again it seems that clearly uh, they are being helped, abetted and facilitated by Park Army on the borders.